Wait, does that mean everybody else is getting to hear our questions? Do you think we're done? That's better. Then you get questions answered. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, the first one, find the exact value of the trig function cotangent 210 degrees. <coughs> so, thinking back to chapter 5. Crazy thought. We gotta go back to chapter 5. Cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent. I was right. Far. Okay, 1 over tangent. Well, we can't do tangent of 210 degrees, right? Our angles have to be less than 90 degrees. So we have to find the reference angle of tangent of 210 degrees. 30. It is 30. <laughs> so for all, anyone that might be confused, tangent of 210 degrees. Remember, this is 90. All the way back to the x-axis is 180. And it's just a little bit past 180. So my reference angle is 30 degrees. So that means I really want to take 1 over tangent of 30 degrees. Okay. And that's the same as pi over 6, right? Because pi is 180, so pi over 6 will be the same as 30 degrees. So then we've got 1 over, and tangent of 30 is radical 3 over 3. Remember, if you don't have that memorized, at least you should have the sine and the cosine memorized, so you can go back and work it through to get your tan of 30. Okay, and then we don't want to have a crazy looking fraction like that, so let's just, remember we flip and multiply, so it's going to be 1 times. 3 over radical 3, so we're going to get 3 over radical 3. Okay. Are you questions? Yeah, good. Instead of radical 3, you have to do pi over 6, and that's your tangent of 30. Okay. Pi over 6 is the angle. Yeah. So tangent of pi over 6 okay. is radical 3 over 6. So tangent of that angle gives me radical 3 over 3. And then we have to determine, okay, we're, our angle was really 210 degrees, right? But we take, we take the tangent of the reference angle. So is my answer going to be negative or positive? Because we are in the third quadrant. So is tangent going to be negative or positive in the third quadrant? Positive, right? Tangent's positive here and here because Cosine and sine are both negative here, right? My x values are negative, my y values are negative in the third quadrant. So negative divided by a negative is going to give me a positive. And then everything's positive in the first quadrant. Okay, so tangent and cotangent, positive in the third quadrant. So my answer, 3 over radical 3. If we want to get the radical off the bottom, it's going to give us Radical 3. But again, for the test, we can still leave it. You can leave it 3 over radical 3. Everyone cool with that one? That's finding the exact value of cotangent of 210 degrees. Equal to radical 3. So this, or this. Like I said, the multiple choice answers might have this, not this. So you're going to have to know how to get from here to here. The multiple choice answers might not have this. Okay, next one. Find the values of the trigonometric functions of theta from the given information. So they gave us secant of theta equals 5. Okay, and what is secant equal? One over cosine, right. So remember, I can flip these or multiply both sides by cosine, then divide by five. So I can get cosine. So 
now I've got secant, now I've got cosine, and it's going to find the four remaining ones. Right? I've got to find sine, i got to find cosecant, i got to find tangent and cotangent. In order to do that, I'm going to need to use one of the laws from chapter 5. Yes, you still need to remember chapter five. <laughs> so then plug in one fifth for my cosine. Okay, and one fifth squared is one twenty fifth. And a little bit of algebra, move it to the other side, and we get. I won't skip the steps. So 1 minus 125th, that's going to mean sine squared theta is 24 over 25. And then take the square root. So sine theta equals, and it simplifies to 2 radical 6 over 5. Everyone cool with that simplification? Okay. So now I've got sine, now I can find cosecant. That's 1 over So it's basically just going to be this reverse. So cosecant is going to be 5 over 2 radical 6. Then tangent equals sine over cosine. So plug in what I have for sine. Plug in what I have for cosine. Simplify, so I get 2 radical 6 over 5 times 5 over 1. Cross them off, I get just 2 radical 6 for my tangent. So my cotangent, what are we going to get for cotangent then? 1 over Okay, so if I just condense this down, they gave me secant it was 5. So cosine we found to be 1 fifth. Sine we found to be 2 radical 6 over 5. Cosecant we found to be 5 over 2 radical 6. Tangent we found to be 2 radical 6. And cotangent, we found to be 1 over 2 radical 6. We found our six trig functions. Yes, sir. Right, then we got to determine what they give us. They say sine's negative. So if sine's negative, That means cosecant is negative, and that means tangent's going to be negative, and cotangent's going to be negative. Good, if I brought that up. <coughs> Make sense? It's pretty similar to chapter 5, really. And the last one. You had one of these oh. on the last test. <laughs> Hmm? You had one of the last tests. One of these? Yeah. No, it was like the first one. Mm -hmm. so like I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. This one you got right now. This was the first one? No, it was like find the exact value of secant. You know, actually take this one. Yeah. 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 Jason, 
Okay, so find the area of this triangle. They give us the area formula. So they gave us the area formula, one half AB sine theta, and that will solve for our height here. So plug in what we know, it's simply just 7 times 10 sine of 25 degrees. So plugging that in, we should just get 14.8. Area of the triangle, it's not a right triangle. So we have to know this formula. When we have two sides and the angle of the angle. from 6.3 and then the quiz review rest of the time today and all day tomorrow. Both are already on the classroom.